while since I've practiced facial features and skin tones. Um, and it's been especially challenging just with the lettering on his face. Um, and I thought it was going to be a lot more brain mashing um, than I thought. But it was actually pretty fun and really fun to watch too. So um, I found this guy on Pinterest. And I know Pinterest isn't the most academic of resources. So I had to do a little bit of digging to find out where he's from, what he's all about. And as far as I could go, I found out that he is a yogi from India. And this just represents that he's heavily disciplined within his practice. Um, but one of the main things that I want to know is what the writing on his face says. So I'm going to put up the original photo. So if anyone can translate this for me or can even refer to a friend that might be able to translate this for me, please do that. I would love to know what it says. Um, you know, just because I'm going to be putting this either up on my wall or I'm going to be selling it to someone and I just want to get the full story. Um, so I have a bit of a sneak peek for you guys. So my friend Greg Doucette, he is a professional bodybuilder. If you guys want to look like an Olympic Greek god, freaking go to his page. He's super funny. Go check him out. Um, but he has challenged me to do a anatomical study of his body. And so I went through a couple of his pictures. We both agreed on this one pose that he's done. And so I have it right here. Um, so I'm going to be mashing it together with like this intense nature scene, kind of like a Frank Franzetta type style, if you guys know what I mean. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And here is your sneak peek.